Hello everyone, welcome back to part 38 of our advanced multi vendor e commerce series. In this video, I am going to talk about the teach you about the multi currency system. So, let's get started. First of all, we will make a we will make in the back end. Now, let's log in the back end. Is admin here admin six four yeah here is our admin dashboard so now let's uh, we will create later first of all we will create a database for our multi-currency system here model currency yes, m okay and also we will make a cedar so speed artisan make a cedar currency cedar tail and also for controller some make controller currency controller R. Yeah, that's it let's close now now go to the migration table in here this currency table so uh, in the currency uh, we need a uh, one that is the ID, then another one is a name of the currency, that is table string of name, right? and then symbol exchange rate. We need so table, and we need a symbol. This is a string of symbol and one is a exchange rate. Exchange rate is a float. So exchange rate. And let's see in the front end if in your design there is an image then you can set an image path as well but i have no image so i will not put here exchange rate then other thing is, is name and then code table mm. name a symbol accented and code. code is also a string a string of <coughs> code and the last one is enum which is you know, status you can set active and inactive and by default is active Now go to in your model. Where is the model? Model is inside the app. There is a model. Here is the model. So you can you need to protect it available with what other field we use. One name, one is symbol number, no. symbol not only symbol symbol and exchange create and code last one is status right so that's it now make a menu 
any help for the current sheet right for that you need to go in resource and views the back end in the layouts there is a sidebar so here shipping and you can make a currency Management all currencies and every currency, right? <coughs> then you can make a make a currency here. currency, and you need to define a route. Okay, so here's the route. In, in the back end here after after shipping I will make a currency route currency which main main URL is currency point it in the currency controller right I will make a currency status as well. Currency status. Currency status, right? So now I will add a fake data. Fake, um, fake countries currency. No, fake currency in the cedar currency cedar. Inside currency cedar, there is a cedar. Here is currency cedar. So here, make a DB. That DB should be import in here. Don't forget to import this one. And table. This table name is. So that is currencies. And here, insert. Insert the array. Right. Area. Area, area of one is name which is uh, Nepali for Nepal Nep Nepal currency is Nepali no Nepali rupees one is exchange red exchange red I'll make the main exchange rate USD and in USD Nepali rupees is around 115 round and then the code next one is code is I'll make it here NP, NP, yep, NP, rupees. Okay, this is the one. Then another one I will make. Uh, first, I will make a USD because I will find something. Yes, yes, the dollar symbol is dollar and exchange rate is I will make one and this reference other currency will decide. So here's USD. Okay, okay, then let's see it. Artisan, oh, before seed, you need to define in the, in the Table, table cedar. In here, call the currency. In currency cedar table, right? 
now is artisan db um, db test test db test class of Only DB suit. Okay. Oh, we need to migrate before. Let's be artisan migrate. So table will be in the our database and then suit. Yeah. Now you can check in in here. Inside the emart, there is a currency and only well, well, only this USD dollar. Okay. <laughs> oh, we need to define. Sorry, we need to define here inside the area of a right this this yeah. now let's delete this two thing okay now fine now let's display in here inside here make in the sidebar let's, it's already made fine now i will close everything except this one and go to the controller this is a currency controller and i will copy the main content from here because it will take some time extra time so I don't want to spend too much time I don't want to spend your valuable time so I, I think you know this is the simple things so let's here paste and currency model put the currency model and currency define a variable currency variable currency currency database this currency is you know that this should be in here so I'll copy this one paste here make currency right and in the currency here you need to define a currency. currency right fine now go to the currency currency all currency there we go there are two two currency one usd and one second one is nepalese so first of all i will change the icon both icon are same so I need to remove that icon in this drop icon yeah. 
fine now inside the index there is a iteration second one is the name of the currency then next one here symbol and so I don't know I don't want these things and then next one is exchange rate then last one is port right here also change accordingly what is the currency name then symbol symbol then ex exchange ex exchange rate okay, equals to one usd one equals to what right exchange rate then word change also here currency if you if you know that you can try yourself don't copy my code because it will practice future date currency currency complete in the controller part in the create here is status also let's copy you know that way the path I step by step status currency status data table name is currencies right because this currency name is in here you can see this table name currency okay status fine successfully updated status fine now create part let's go to the create part it's very simple just the <coughs> blade table no just blade blade files currency create and <coughs> Is the store part also let's copy the store part this uh, name required then another one is the symbol required this unit part I don't need this volume the symbol and then next one is exchange with is a uh, numeric numeric and it's also required then you code is also required for this part read in the currency table so message is successfully created currency Fine. Still, part is also done. Now, edit part. So you can do by um, the step one, step wise. Um, in my case, I think this is the easy and fastest way. So I did this way, but this is not a step by step way so find the currency down currency 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 fine now in the update update 
cryptocurrency cryptocurrency and for the validation let's copy this one paste it and fill your currency back to currency that index successfully created currency now the delete part the delete part let's find from the currency if the currency Alt and Z for the PSP strong so, currency and also currency here currency successfully deleted now in, in the in index that with the PSP there is a edit link here you need to keep a, a currency that edit currency that delete this currency that delete pointing to the web that PSP back back in that PSP with its currency and this is the resource function so here all the good operation will be stored like a uh, Currency.index, currency.create, edit, update, so and delete. They all exist inside here. So we don't need to define it's an every route. And currency dot delete will point into the currency controller destroy this function. So it will execute this one. If first of all we find the ID in the currency model. If I currency is exist, then this code will run. Otherwise, data not found will run. And if this is exist, then currency delete function is execute. So currency delete, and this status will return the true or false. If this is true, then message will show. Otherwise, something went wrong. Message will display fine. Right. Here also the status for the currency dot status which so find the current current uh, currency dot status in here right currency dot status here this will execute and this will point in the currency status which are the currency controller means this could execute here right and it will set an update accordingly fine so let's try let's try to create a one and change the currency that you create here currency it currency and currencies currency it the message and currency that is to it also our resource resource route Okay. Currency name. Currency name and title and balance as well. Title, right? The next one is symbol and URL is. This photo is not exist in currency. The next one is exchange rate. Next one is word. So it's an exchange rate. Exchange rate and this is a number but it might be a decimal so 
step with n so after this you can write a decimal number as well otherwise you cannot write a decimal number exchange red exchange red and the healthy code 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 mm, fine now more the things are simple currency symbol that's a note code and such as this is it okay now if you write a currency name like uh, Indian rupee then this is also a RS and exchange rate I don't know maybe 70 that's all. 70 and then PR but price Indian code and let's store oh it's pointing to the banner so this is not okay this is not okay banner here this will be price.index fine that is okay i think now let's say see in the currencies all currency there is a indian currency as well fine now if you delete this one okay now in the edit section let's copy the create with this one too where this one okay so in the edit there's a row and here. fine and there's no banner ID so currency ID and it's we are currency that update and in above also currency currencies and here edit currency currency okay then next one is dollar currency name here currency this is a symbol small symbol and sorry the currency extended and here the currency create there is a quite which one is simple yeah. simple no there is a currency yeah, currency c u r r t n c y currency okay and also let's remove this one and I put here I I don't know let's put up I mean Indian it should update here yeah. and the final thing is delete yeah it's deleted now back in part is successfully completed now let's start in the front end part okay for the front end part, 
the group here. Press to edit and the group here. Click here and here. Place inside the front end layouts header. Then the currency. The top. Yeah. Here is the currency. Okay. So, first of all, I will make a helper function which is inside the utilities. Here is the utilities. I will make a helper function which is like a currency load. Let's make a currency load. Okay. And this currency load is a public static function currency load. Okay. And in here, I will write a condition which is at session session if it has session has a if session has mm, system default currency info if it has a currency info then oh if it has not a I'll make a if false if there is no currencies assigned in the currency then I will put the currency in here which is put system put with system default currency value of currency currency of point one right first of all we load in the system currency this is here first it will load in the system currency okay first of all we will show the number of currencies in here not available currencies here okay for that we will look it's very easy like uh, for age for age there is a currency model and one is active status status is active only the active currency we will show Get here is a what currency and and for age okay so now in here this is a symbol right now that currency symbol and the next one is currency code yeah yes we are we can make our work case as well currency cut let's refresh here USD and Netflix two two currencies. Okay, so now what can I do is in here anchor tag let's disable it. 
Java SC getting this will disable or not clickable in here one click this anchor tag then I will make a function which is on not currency change currency currency change function okay here and we will pass what currency we will pass a currency code inside here so how can we pass pass like this currency and inside the currency there is code okay and you need to make a one function now so to create a function i will go inside the master master is the main root of our which watch site so footer yes get script tag and there is a function with currency change and it will accept a one parameter which is currency code right let's check it's coming or not currency code let's test if i click in ep no it's not um, i let's check in the footer oh this is not a function we have make a what which function this function currency change let's make this one and replace it it should work if i click here yeah net and ep is my currency code usd yeah it's working fine the next one is i let's use the ajax function inside the ajax and the type i will make a type is post method and url is i will i will create error and then data data will pass or pass for the controller pass to the controller is this currency controller currency code currency code is currency code right and if we use the type method post then we, we need to define the token as well the token is we print our server right so that's it now make a one route for it so here is the way to define no I will define the web that PSB so this is the root and here route method is post in here currency currency load right. and I will redirect to the currency I will go to the currency controller which will create it currency, currency. 
frekuensi modular plus with frekuensi load function and here I will define the name which is frequency dot load this currency load we need to define in the ajax ui here is the route of that url then it will go to the this url and this function it hit into this function let's create a function of this name and receive a request and let's uh, see what is coming dd the request Let's test um, the Ajax value is come, come inside here. Here in the network tab, you can see. You can see. Let's try it. Oh, sorry. Okay, fine. Then it will come here. The code is an AP and token values. Fine. It's working. URL is working fine now go to the controller and make con make let's make it here here what we are going to do is first of all put put into this section session here session here put put the currency code Going to the session which is the request and which parameter is coming of course currency code yeah it's stored in the currency code and then next one is uh, we will write the that We will find the currency now. How can you find the currency? Let's store in the currency variable okay. currency where currency code is request currency code and that first one. We need to store the currency symbol as well inside in the session. Put currency symbol, currency symbol, and put put the currency symbol. Dollar currency as well. And then the next one is accent rate as well. Session put currency, yes, but currency no, okay, currency ex yes, and exchange rate with currency ex exchange rate, right? That's it now. The response message is response of message message is but oh, we don't need a message we need to reload we reload the website so don't need any message only the RDS response of status status maker true okay and then data data also don't return the response that's it in the controller you will look at this it's very easy now in the header let's back get back into the 
error.play.php which is where error.php now here we need to define the header header section so open the php code here call the helper function currency code and then then let's the currency word is session currency code yeah and remember this currency code is we store inside the store inside the currency controller yeah this one this currency code and then in a similar way we will print a currency symbol session of currency symbol and in here the next one is let me let's say it uh, if you want you can print a coin section here but this is not necessary and here you can check if dollar currency symbol is equal to equals to empty if there is a no currency set in inside the session or uh, either you can use a currency code as well so if there is no currency is stored in, in the session currency code then you need to define in the system system default currency yeah system different currency currency here okay now go to the header yeah what you can you need to do is dollar if there is a no currency assigned in the session then system default currency info here you need to write a session of SYST system copy here yeah copy default if there is no change if we are not assigned head value then we need to call the default system value okay so here currency symbol will be what dollar system currency info that's why the symbol and the currency code will be dollar equals to dollar is why system code yeah. that's it so I understand what is going here so first of all we are not assigned the value from here it will automatically assign assign the value so for first there is no session value right in here it it's print or empty value so if the currency symbol is empty then it's called the session system info from the helper function here so it's assign the value of id1 okay first value initial value it's print the initial value fine but there is no id one one id so we need to make a id one okay um, i think it's clear now so the next one is here we need to print print this is dollar 
currency currency symbol and this is currency code currency code yeah if you refresh here it will print the initial value yeah this is the initial value right so that's it and if you load uh, an AP, then it should be a yeah, rupees, monthly rupees. So the next now next step is to change the price accordingly. So the value is loaded now, currency is changed, but this price, this symbol and value need to be changed so how can you change this value so for this let's go to the let's make a one helper function which is a currency converter okay let's make a currency Converter public static function of currency cum pbr converter and it received the amount okay it received some amount and it will return return the converted converted price okay so I will make the convert convert function as well convert price of that amount okay so convert price now let's go to the convert price okay now how can we convert I will make a function then the convert price if if then function exists no function it exists uh, convert price convert price is not exist then I make a function of function of to convert price function okay and this receive the amount I will make it price here okay and this price convert let's helper currency load and the TDM system Say info equals to system of this one. Okay, system of this one, and then let's divide price. Price equals to this price equals to uh, this price may be float for value so price and this price divided by for value of what exchange rate AX, CX, AX, exchange rate okay and then the next next one is if if season Season has exchange rate. If it has an exchange rate, means we store in here currency exchange rate. If it has an exchange rate, means we need to define this same in here as well. If it has already a exchange rate, then exchange will be 
x exchange will be this one session of currency exchange rate right otherwise there is no assign in the currency exchange rate then exchange exchange will be what dollar system currency info exchange exchange rate right and now let's finally calculate the price equals to crude value of dollar price multiply by float value of exchange okay and it will return the dollar price fine okay and i will format as well this price i will format as well so to format the price how can you do that I will make another format for format price okay and here also if function not exist format price then I will make a function of format price and this format price is price okay and here return uh, return the what there is a symbol so let's make a symbol and symbol let's here currency symbol if not function exist currency symbol okay there is no currency then make a currency symbol function here right and here it load a currency if Session has a currency symbol which is this one currency symbol. If it has a symbol, then symbol equals to session symbol else symbol equals to the system copy let's copy this one and paste here stem system currency default and here symbol and it will return it will return here return symbol so that symbol here here it will return our currency symbol okay and concatenate with the number format on number format and price with two digits Now that price format should be called in here. Format price. Okay. So now go to the. Let's test here. It's working or not. Here I will go to the. The which one? This is a. Uh, quick view new new products let's go to the new error new error means this one here where is the price 
Product price. Here we go. Let's call the helper of currency converter and pass this file. And it will return the how. Oh. What is the mm, helper? 67. Line number 67. Oh, this should be inside here. Okay, and convert price 25. Line number convert price. Is it working or not? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is working fine, but here we need to remove the price. Where is here? Go. So let's see. Let's convert other other things also, other digits also. Helper. Okay, okay. <coughs> Lper helper of oh, converter and pass the discount right. So if you change it to the USD, then it should be in USD. New number USD. That's work fine. So you can change the in other page as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, share with your friend. Bye bye. See you in the, see you in the next video.